Good morning, Utah, and happy Friday. We made it to the end of the work week, and man, do we have some changes coming our way. Here's the view outside in Cedar City right now with our Southern Utah University camera network, where during the overnight hours, Cedar City actually picked up a little bit of snow. You can actually tell by some of the grassy surfaces and looking towards some of the hills off in the distance right here. Really pretty view in Cedar City nonetheless, even though things are calmer out there right now. While in Logan, if you look very closely, we are seeing snow beginning to fall in portions around Cache Valley and throughout Box Elder County as well. So if you're traveling in the northernmost portion of the state this morning, I'll tell you right now, just make sure that you build an extra time. And I got a camera to show you during our traffic segment that will show you part of the reason why I'm saying that. As you head out the door, we have temperatures mainly in the 20s and 30s. St. George, one of the warmer spots right now, currently sitting with a temperature of 38. So in southwestern Utah, we have seen a little bit of wet weather since last night, but the bulk of that wet weather right now is mainly favoring the high terrain. While as we make our way up into northern Utah, got a few false returns, but where you're looking for that snow is actually falling are these areas of darker blue, and you can see those moving into Cache County and throughout portions of Box Elder County. However, moisture as a whole is now working its way in from the west, and that chance of wet weather across the state will only be increasing as we go from this morning into the afternoon. There's a storm system that's currently moving in from the northwest. You can actually see this little notch right here. That's a short wave trough that's moving into the Beehive State from the northwest, dragging in a cold front along with it. While as we look a little bit further off to the northwest, there's another storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest, and by tomorrow into Sunday, that storm system is going to be moving into our neighborhood. So when you see these winter weather advisories, and winter storm warnings, they're not only for today, they're for tomorrow, and some of these will actually continue through 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday, especially for the high train with the winter storm warnings that we have for the Wasatch Mountains and for the Wasatch Back. Most of these are set to begin at 11 o'clock this morning, but that chance of wet weather is now increasing across the state. And the winter weather advisories, which include the Wasatch Front, these will be continuing mainly through Sunday morning because by Sunday afternoon, we could be looking at valley rain and mountain snow. By the time all of said and done, we could see 20 inches plus for the Wasatch Mountains, 10 inches plus for the Western Uintas, 6 inches plus for the Central Mountains, 8 to 20 for the Wasatch Back, locally up to 8 inches for the Wasatch Front, but that's mainly for the Northern Wasatch Front. Well, bench locations could see even higher amounts compared to the locally up to eight inches. So we could be looking at some very healthy snow, especially up in the high country. Let's go ahead and time things out for you. Six o'clock this morning in the future cast showing a few spotty snow showers east of I-15 with the bulk of the snow moving in from the west as we go from this morning into the early stages of the afternoon. I think this forecast model might be a little bit quick, but what it's showing is by 10 o'clock this morning, basically from Cedar City all the way up through the Utah-Idaho line, we could be looking at mainly snow showers. So for your lunch hour commute, we could be looking at very slippery conditions. Things could then calm down a little bit with that cold front moving from west to east, so maybe a little bit of a break in the action, but even by 7 o'clock, still looking at a chance of snow showers along the Wasatch Front as the snow continues up in the mountains. Then our next system arrives going into our Saturday as we'll be looking at more times of snow mainly in the northern half of the state. So today we'll bring a chance of wet weather across the entire state. Even St. George will have a chance of seeing rain. But by the time we make our way into Saturday and Sunday, the bulk of the wet weather is mainly going to be along and north of the I-70 corridor. And with temperatures that are expected to come up on Sunday with more of a southwesterly flow, we'll be looking at more times of valley rain and mountain snow before things finally begin to calm down early next week as high pressure will be building back in. But here's a look at some of the snow potential over the next few days with one of our high-res forecast models and you can see these areas of red that's showing 25 inches plus while we will likely see some accumulations stretching from Cedar City all the way up towards Logan down in our valleys. Here's what we're currently thinking when it comes to snowfall totals from today through Sunday night. Cottonwoods 18 to 36 inches, which means a foot and a half upwards of three feet of snow. There are some forecast models that have, that have even suggested we could see more than that. We just need to see everything come together. Of course, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Northern mountains between 15 and 30, central mountains 8 to 16. 2 to 6 for the southern mountains. Northern valleys could pick up anywhere to 1 to 6, and the question mark really becomes when do we see more valley rain and mountain snow rather than just straight snow? So that's why you see kind of a big range right there. The Cache Valley in the benches, 4 to 10. Mountain valleys, 8 to 16. 
and the I-15 corridor from Cedar City up to Nephi could see roughly one to four inches of snow. And we'll continue to fine tune that as we get closer to that storm system or both storm systems actually arriving. As for our daytime highs today, mainly going to see 30s and 40s with a daytime high climbing to 52 in St. George. And as mentioned, St. George will have at least a chance of picking up some rain for today. And while active weather continues for most of the state over the weekend in St. George, mainly partly cloudy skies and with high pressure building in by early next week, daytime highs will actually be returning to the 60s with overnight lows mainly in the 30s. Then along the Wasatch Front, a good chance for snow showers today into tomorrow. Daytime highs in the mid to upper 30s in Salt Lake, while most along the Wasatch Front will mainly be in the mid 30s. Then daytime highs climbing to the low 40s on Sunday with the chance of valley rain and mountain snow. A lingering chance through early Monday. Then we'll be looking at calmer conditions early next week with daytime highs likely climbing into the mid and upper 40s by Wednesday and Thursday. Let's go ahead and check the traffic out there this morning and so far so good. But we got green lines up and down the Wasatch Front the Wasatch back. I did mention earlier that we do have some slippery streets once you make your way into the northernmost portion of the state. This is I-84 and I-15 in Tremont, and you can actually see snow on the interstate right there this morning, so be careful if that's where you're traveling. Provo to Salt Lake, on time, 36 minutes. Safe travels.